the head coach of the Celtics, Ime Yudoka, with us now. Ime, what's up? How you guys doing? We're doing great. You? Good, good. Preparing and getting ready for a practice and on to the next. Do you, do you have any jitters, uh, pre-playoff jitters right now? No, I do not. I, I think uh, being nine years as an assistant and making the playoffs every year and playing in a few championships and high-pressure situations has prepared me for this. I think the team is ready as well, and I just want to continue doing what we did to finish the season. Okay, so uh, Brooklyn wins, obviously, the other night, and after the game, their coach is talking about, yeah, they don't have Rob Williams down low, and that's a big area that they're exposed, and we're going to attack them down there. And Kevin Durant actually backed off those comments, said, yeah, we don't really talk about our opponents. We respect them, this and that. But, I mean, that's really stating the obvious, though. Um, how, how much worry do you have, you know, especially with the size of a guy like Durant? And um, they did some damage underneath the other night, you know, with your pa- down inside in paint. Yeah, well, uh, Durant's going to be a problem regardless of who you play and who you have on the court. And so, um, you know, my point, and that was Bruce Brown saying that. Obviously, I coached those guys last year. Uh-huh. And that's that's Bruce. He's gonna, you know, he's coming back to Boston, his hometown, so he's extra hyped, of course. And so, um, you know, what we have is a great defensive team, not just one player that kind of, you know, Rob anchors the unit and does a lot of great things for us. But you still have Marcus, Jalen, Jason to make it through before you get to the basket. And so, uh, we have layers to it. And obviously, Rob was a big part of it. But Al and Daniels filled in nicely. So. We're not just relying on one guy to get stops. We've maintained our identity uh, through the last eight or so games of Rob being out, and we'll continue to do so. How is Rob Williams progressing, and is there any more clarity on when he could make a return? He's doing well. He's, he's been doing well since day one. I, uh, we left him back. We went on the trip to Chicago, Milwaukee, and Memphis to get some extra work in here in Boston, and as good as you can go. Um, you know, he's in a great mindset, uh, attacking the rehab and, you know, doing more and more every day, some on-court work now. And obviously the strengthening part was the, the initial aspect, but um, not as far as clarity going forward, our whole thing is, you know, it's a four to six week uh, timeline. And we understand that we're going to have to win a series most likely without him. And so we're sticking to that. And if we're surprised by something great, if not, we understand what we have to do in order to get him back in the second round. Yeah. I was going to ask, does the spread out nature of this first round change your thinking on that at all? I mean, I think you play on Sunday and then you play like, six days later and then it looks like an 11 day <laughs> layoff before game three. It's you get plenty of rest in there. Does that change your, your, uh, I don't know, outlook at all on that. I mean, the timeline could benefit, but, um, you know, more so what we're looking at is guys being fresh, you know, with uh, Sunday, Wednesday game and those days in between to prepare and make adjustments if need be. So it's more so for Al and the guys that are playing more, you know, going to have an increase in minutes. Uh, and if Rob, like I said, if something surprises us as far as that, great. But for, for us, from the day, from the get-go, it was basically let's win the series without Rob and, and buy ourselves time to get him back for the second round. And that's the way we're approaching it. Right, Brad Stevens was on uh, was on with our morning guys, and uh, they actually asked him, you know, like, hey, how much help can you guys sort of collectively come together and prepare for for Brooklyn? And, and Stevens just started laughing. He goes, this team, this Celtics team, is so much damn different than the Celtics team that I had last year. How different is the Brooklyn team when you watch them play outside the big two? Oh, they have other guys that have stepped up, obviously Harden being gone. Uh, as far as that and the additions they made this year, they are different in a lot of aspects. It all starts and ends with, uh, you know, Durant and Irving. We know that, but uh, the additions they made have really helped. Uh, Curry coming trade deadline, big body with Andre Drummond. And then, you know, there's um, – talk about Ben Simmons being added back. And so there's a lot of variables that you can't really prepare for uh, guys that have not played with this group, but taking hard now and adding the additions they have and make the team night and day than the team I coached last year. It, it, Ralph, to follow up on that, if Simmons does play, what, do you think he'll be the guy to, that'll draw Tatum or it would be sort of a combined effort just based on I his mean, length? You would assume so. I mean, when when I had him in Philadelphia, he guarded Jason every time, and he has a you know some size and strength, and overall is a great defensive player. Um, you know that rust of being off for a year can impact you in a lot of ways, and so you would assume that would be the case. But like I said, we're worrying about the task at hand, and we have enough on our on our plate already without thinking about something that's not even there yet. So we'll worry about Durant, and Irving, and all the other guys that they have, and uh, you know if he comes out, we'll figure it out then. 
are you at all concerned with the potential for added distractions with this series? Last year's series, Kyrie had a lot to say about the fans in Boston. There was the incident with the thrown bottle at the garden. There was just a lot going on outside of the games themselves. And there's always the potential with that player in this town to have it happen again. Are you at all concerned with that for your team? No, not from our side. Um, you know, our guys are locked in and prepared. I think playing against them last year, a lot of the storylines kind of got touched on and, and we moved on from that. So from our guys, it's, it's worrying about Brooklyn and, and the, the game on the court and not anything outside as far as headlines. I, I talked to the team about that yesterday about, you know, handling all your distractions early, ticket requests, family members coming to town, take care of all that stuff so we can focus on the task at hand. I think that's the approach with our team. And like I said, being the fact that we played them already in the series last year, me being part of the Brooklyn team at that time, I saw the impact it had him coming back with the fans in the building. But that's kind of been there, done that. And our approach is uh, strictly on Brooklyn and on the game on the court. All right, Coach. Uh, appreciate it. Good luck on uh, Sunday, game one. Uh, looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully get some sleep the night before. 